Hey guys, this is Mainak and you are watching Civil Bro. So in today's video, we will show you how to model a simple plan in SketchUp and make it 3D model so that you have a basic idea. So all the episodes or all the lectures which we had done previously, we'll use those commands and also some new commands we'll use and we'll do step by step. So let's get started. So we have opened SketchUp and in the left side of the screen, you can see this is a simple plan of two bedroom. So we're going to make this plan in SketchUp and uh, all the details are given here. And after that, we're going to also, you know, extrude the model and make the 3D model. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, first of all, uh, you can just uh, take the tape measure tool and from this axis, just uh, take a, in a, any line here like this. And uh, from this, you can go to the top view and from the top view as well from this axis you can just uh, take a line anywhere make sure you stay in the top view and uh, uh, you can use the you know pan option shift plus mouse middle button pan and a little far away i'll just place it anywhere so now uh, if you want to you know just uh, get rid of the axis just go to view and click on axis so it will get rid of the axis for you so it will you know help you so it's every, anything else is created you can just uh, uh, take the help of the space button this uh, thing just we can delete this for now okay so back to the top view and now we'll start from here so all these walls are five inch walls and uh, all the dimensions are given so we'll take uh, the tape measure tool and uh, from here let's start from this portion the top from here uh, five enter so uh, if you press five enter then it will take the five inch because the unit has been you know set in, in the inches so and after that we'll draw the you know horizontal lines first so after that you can take a line of uh, 11 feet 8 inches so i'll press 11 feet and then 8 enter so after that again another five inch wall is there uh, that is this one so five enter and again there is seven feet 11 inch gap so I'll press this and then seven feet, 11, enter. Then again, there is a five inch wall, five, enter. So now let's start from this side. So first of all, there is a five inch wall, five, enter, and then 11 feet, three inches. Select so this, 11 feet, three, enter. And then again, the five inch wall, five, enter. And this is similar to AutoCAD as you can see where you take offsets. So again, there is 11 feet, eight inches. 11 feet 8 enter and then again there is 5 inches 5 enter so this is done here and for this puja room uh, there is 7 feet here and uh, 7 feet enter and then this 5 5 enter so this is the you know thing which you have done with the offset and now let's uh, take some rectangles so for rectangle you can just select the rectangles or you can use the shortcut r okay in this press here you can short use the shortcut r so we will take a rectangle here don't worry about overlaps here so it will automatically adjust and uh, apart from the boundary we'll select another one okay again similarly for this one let's uh, go and uh, select the uh Okay, let's go and select the entire thing here like this and again select only the boundary for the of the room okay and again let's uh, select this and the entire room like this and only this particular room let's select again like this and again we'll select the entire room and only the room we are bound to. so you can see what we have done here and uh, now after you know doing this uh, there is you know some scope of providing the doors and the doors and windows first of all let's uh, place the uh, you know do the spacing of the door so as you can see here the door is three feet six inches all the doors so we'll place uh, some things for the doors here so let's you know just uh, okay we'll just press uh, control plus z so we'll take the tape measure tool and uh, suppose uh, you want to place a door from five inches from here. So we'll just go here, five, enter, and you are five inches from here. And uh, then uh, just uh, do here, five, 
enter five inches now it is done and then uh, three feet six inches and after you have done three feet six inches and again from here just go five inches and then you go three feet six inches okay so after having done that let's finish it just press r uh, take the rectangle and draw the rectangle like this and again take the rectangle from here draw the rectangle like this and uh, take the eraser you can take the eraser like from here or press e and just you know you make the door spacings like this so two door spacings are made again take the tape measure tool and here let's uh, you know just uh, take one from here uh, let's uh, just uh, draw a line here first uh, just select this and select this this is a line here and uh, from here just at the center we have drawn a line because i want to provide a door at the center so from here i'll give one feet three here like this and then from here three feet six so I have I provided uh, you know door space here. I'll press R, and then provide a rectangle here. And after that, use E to erase it. So now that the door is provided for the puja room. Also, let me there are many many things uh, provided here. So let me just use the eraser to you know get rid of the grid lines which I don't want. And uh, after that. Uh, I'll just place a door here. So let me just take the uh, tape measure tool again and uh, just just connect uh, this parallelly straight. I want the door along this side. So I'll just place a uh, grid line here and then just take a distance of let's say uh, one feet three. So if this is not happening here like this, uh, I'll just take another grid line. Okay, now it's a proper grid line. So I'll take a distance of uh, one feet three here and three feet six from here. Okay, so we can provide the door here and take a rectangle R and R. Just press R and then select this and then press E to remove this so once this is done you can also remove the lines which you don't want like this uh, and also let's see you can clear out the lines which you don't want so you can see this is process is quite simple till now the remaining process is also simple so don't worry and uh, now here now we can mark the position for our windows as well okay so let's mark the position for the windows so we'll take the tape measure tool once again and uh, uh, let's just uh, connect this and uh, after that we'll just um, trace a uh, as you can see I have my grid line at the center and then uh, the window size is five feet so we'll go uh, 2.5 feet uh, from this side and then we go five feet from here so we'll mark the window here after that so let's take uh, a reference here from here and uh, place it at the center here as you can see the down symbol appears just place it here and then uh, 2.5 feet from here and then uh, just uh, five feet from here and after that just uh, take the rectangle r and draw rectangles for all the Windows, just uh, select this and uh, draw a rectangle here. And the last rectangle for the window, just draw it here. Use the eraser, E enter, and uh, do it. So this is done. And now, now we can just remove all the grid lines. So now this is done. And uh, after that, uh, what we'll do? We'll just uh, go here, and only for the you know position of the windows, we'll just uh, provide a rectangle here like this. And uh, if we, if we want, we can we you know could have 
not deleted the rectangles here. Uh, you know, just kept those for particularly for the position of the windows because we can later extrude them. Okay, so we'll keep the you know position of the you know windows here. Don't need to delete it. And then uh, what we'll do? We'll just go to the three D view and uh, use the push pull tool. You can just use the push pull tool from here or shortcut is P. Okay. So push pull tool. Make sure you select this uh, particular edge, and then uh, the height which you want to give here is your ten feet. So all the positions in which you don't have the you know doors or windows, you can just provide a height of ten feet. So here you have a window here for the window seal level, as you can see, two feet six inches. So just raise it up to two feet six inches. Here also you have a window for the window portion, just raise it up to two feet six inches. And this portion, now this portion, you don't need to provide the height again and again, 10 feet, you just uh, can uh, select this, select this properly, and then you can just keep the reference so that it automatically takes the height. Okay, so here this is the window portion, two feet six inches, and for this doesn't happen in one go. You can just go take it in two intervals as well, just like this. So this is done, and now okay, this portion is remaining. So this is done here. This is one door, and then the remaining windows all have been done. So now let's give the you know lintel level thing. So just uh, take the tape measure tool, and uh, we'll just join this like this, and we also join this like this. So after that, we'll just take an offset of let's say the lintel level is at uh, 10 7 feet. So we'll take an offset here of three feet. Okay, properly we'll take here. Let's take from here. Okay, from the grid line will take so that will be better. Three feet, enter, and then you can take uh, you know another grid, grid line here. Just uh, take it from here and join it. So now we can take the line, and then you can just uh, take the line tool from here and just uh, use join it like this. Uh, using the proper you know you can use the you know left button or uh, here to you know just make a 90 degree one so use the push pull tool to just pull it and and at, at any intersection when you see this symbol just to join it like this okay so similarly we'll do it uh, here as well so first of all we'll take a tape measure tool let's just join it and after that we'll take it from here and take even offset of three feet enter let's give the all the offsets first and this is remaining so let's just uh, join join this portion and take an offset of three feet enter okay so let's uh, do this work first and then use l only the l and join it like this and use push pull tool p to just put it here similarly We'll use L to join this push pull tool to put it here. L and then P join it like this. So for this, uh, we'll just uh, use the tape measure tool. So let's say join it first and then uh, offset of three feet. So then you'll use the line tool. You just draw this and push pull tool to join this. So once this is done, you can give a final check. 
and after checks you can just use the erase tool to just erase all the things which this one or oh, just press control the z and reverse spaces and then also select this one double click reverse spaces The eraser so now after this is uh, this particular thing is over you just select this uh, press uh, control plus a or press uh, triple click this and uh, after that just right click and uh, make it a component component one just create the component here and after the component has been made uh, now what you can do is uh, first of all we can just uh, go uh, to let's say uh, any view first of all tape measure tool and let's give this side and let's just join this and also join this and after that uh, what we'll do we'll just take an offset from here offset of uh, Five feet from here, and after that, we'll take an offset from the front side as well. Five feet from the front side, and we'll just uh, take the line and draw a line here, and take an offset of uh, three feet in this side, and also take a line and can take the line from here drop it here and from here we'll take an offset of three feet and after having done that uh, first of all we'll just uh, take a rectangle and we'll draw a rectangle for to represent the boundary wall like this and after that use the push pull tool to provide a offset of let's say uh, two inches just for representing the ground and after that or we'll use the offset tool we can use it from here select the edge and we'll provide a boundary of say five inches five inches here and uh, here we'll just provide the you know gate so we'll take a rectangle and uh, we'll just draw a rectangle here give the dimensions 10 comma 10 here and uh, in this place as well we'll just provide a rectangle here 10 comma 10 here so this will be our you know gate of the main compound you just use the erase tool to remove the things which you don't want or don't need right now so this is done so we'll provide a boundary wall here so we'll use the push pull tool to provide a boundary wall so we'll provide a boundary wall of uh, three feet and uh, we'll match it with the columns as well of this. So this boundary wall gate has been provided. And after that, we can provide the roof. So to provide the roof, just uh, use any rectangle here like this. Select this rectangle and Select this rectangle here like this with the push pull tool to provide a roof of five inches. And we want to extend this roof in the front portion, just uh, extend it by three feet. And in all the remaining sides, we'll just extend it by six inches. Okay. So select this side, six, enter, rotate, select this size, six, enter, rotate, 
select this site six enter so you know this uh, this thing is done and uh, we want you know parapet wall in three sides and front maybe we can give a railing so let's take an offset here uh, you can use this offset tool to give an offset of uh, just press control plus z and then take an offset of uh, 10 okay so we'll give an offset here we'll just uh, use this uh, offset tool to give an offset 10 inches parapet wall and uh, we'll use the line tool here to destroy a line and again with the line tool here to destroy a line erase tool to erase it so we we'll use the push pull tool to provide it a uh, boundary uh, you know parapet wall of uh, two feet six inches okay and in the front side we'll provide railings so now we'll provide the doors and windows okay so i'll just go back to full screen here so now for downloading the doors and windows you can go to uh, your warehouse you can go to you know just file and then 3d warehouse and you can just click on this get models and or you can get these models you can just search for doors and if these doors will appear so i had uh, given the link of uh, the pre-downloaded warehouse you know in the previous section if the warehouse doesn't work for you so i've already downloaded so i use the you know doors and windows from there okay so first of all i'll just import the windows first so for importing the windows you'll go to file and go to here import and then i'll go to my 3d warehouse uh, you know the link uh, which i had given in the description so i'll just search windows and when the windows appear so we'll select the you know proper shape of the windows so suppose i want to go with uh, this window okay and then let's import and first of all i'll place a window here so let's say here okay that that would better i will just go again and go to import and uh, this time just uh, large icons suppose that this was the window import and let's say i place it here okay then uh, just go to the 3d you know just make this a wireframe view and then use the you know scale option here you'll have the option of scale here and then we'll use this to just uh, make sure to you know, use the middle option. Just press it at the middle and use it here. And like this, you can just do as a normal view. Escape. The window has been done. Okay. So uh, like this, we have to select this, and we need a window. You know, two windows here, but they, they are the opposite side. So uh, what we can do, we can go to the top view. And go to the wireframe view and just uh, use the move tool press control that will be copy and use it like this okay and then we'll use the rotate tool to rotate it just give it axis and rotate it like this at an angle of 90 degree and again i'll just uh, use this rotation for like this okay then uh, I'll just play, uh, I'll just uh, go back to the normal view and see this window. Just press space and see this window. So now it is along this side. So now I can use it. Okay. So I'll just select this window. Maybe go to the wireframe view and uh, select this move option and move it from here to here. And then I'll press control. And then move, copy it from here to here. And then we go back to normal view. You can see windows have been done. So after my windows have been done, let's just uh, select a door. So again, I'll go to file. I'll go to uh, import. You can go to 3D warehouse. If the 3D warehouse you know works for you, okay, directly. So I'll select this door. Okay, and uh, doors will just. Uh, select your large icons i'll also give the link of this in the description if you want or you can just check out the previous uh, video in which i had given the link okay 
so doors you can just select any door here i'll go with uh, this one okay main door is here so i'll go with this one and then click on import and then i'll place my door like this go to wireframe view choose the option of your scale select the middle portion and place press and now just click the middle of my model then select this and then my door is done so i like this i can place my doors and after that i uh, want the main gate here so i'll go to file i'll go to import you can do the same things in the 3d warehouse 3d warehouse is working for you or else you can download this like me as, as well all and then can use it okay so then i'll, I'll just uh, press uh, place here uh, you know steel let's go steel i'll just press steel here steel sections are there and steel deck steel rebars steel bench so there are some here here fence gate so fence you can, you can also search fence in the 3d warehouse fence gate i'll use this uh, i'll just use this type gate and here as you can see you can see in the warehouse sorry in the you know this particular option of your 2d wireframe so you can see this is uh, you can, if you want uh, to scale it, you can just scale it also. Uh, you can just uh, just use this to place it here, or I think it's perfect, perfectly fit. So no worries. Or else you can just uh, you know just put it, scale it if you want anywhere. If it, that that was needed, but it's not needed for now. Okay. So just uh, go back to the default view and here next we can provide railings here so just go to file we're going to import just a 3d warehouse and then railing and you can select any type of uh, railings which you want so suppose you want to go this uh, type of railing 3d wall post just click on import and uh, select it and paste it here and after that i just uh, use the move tool press control and then i'll keep on repeating the steps like this so now it's perfectly fine and if you want now since this is a component side double click and then double click and select the entire model right click and then reverse faces so it will just look white okay. so like this you can make the 3d model and then, then you can erase all the things which you don't want so friends if you found this video useful do hit the like button it helps to reach more people and you can also follow me on linkedin i have given the a link of my profile in the description bye bye